last night. But Kevin Cartwright's luck took him all the way to the final spin. You are now a millionaire! As Red or Black made TV history by creating two millionaires in two days. That's gonna change from now on. I felt like I was in a dream. dream. Tonight, it all begins again as another set of contestants hopes to become our third millionaire. But only one will make it. To that final question. Red or black? Live from the Red or Black studio, please welcome your hosts, Ant and Deck. worth an incredible one million pounds. <laughs> uh, last night, Kevin Cartwright's life changed forever uh, when he became our second millionaire in a row after one spin of this, the Red or Black Wheel! <laughs> To that wheel and our contestants will be asked one very simple question red or black if the right answer is given then they will instantly become a millionaire uh, and remember you can test your luck at home as well tonight just log on to the web, web the website <laughs> website rtv.com <laughs> forward slash red or black now i can tell you of all the thousands uh -huh. of people i like these stats you give <laughs> yeah you love the stats don't love you stat. love the stats thousands and thousands of people who played along last night only one person at home played the perfect game and could have won a million pounds one well done who online. was it very good question. Uh -huh. They didn't log in and leave any details, so we don't know who it Idiot. was. Idiot! <laughs> <laughs> I would have given them a prize as well. Would you? No, nah, I wouldn't. A million quid? Nah, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, right then, let's get going tonight. We started with a thousand people who all had their eyes on that million pound spin, and their first major decision came at the Red or Black Arena. This is Strikeouts! One spinning wheel of death, five red targets. Five black targets, each with a silver tip at its point. The object of the game is to knock the silver tip completely off the target using footballs. But who's kicking the balls? Please welcome two world-class footballers. It's Robin Van Persie and Cesc Fabrega! <laughs> Hundreds of contestants have just minutes to make their decision and move to the red or black sections of the arena. If you want to choose black, please go this way. Red's down to that end. Neither of us are like football fans, so we're a bit like, yeah, we don't have a say. Red Army, all day long. I just think Van Persie's much better than Fabregas, isn't it? Black will win because I will try my best and I believe in myself. People can actually make loads of money because of us, you know, and that's why I hope to do well for them. Yeah, hopefully I can make someone really happy. I went to Monte Carlo and I've got all the money and I've put it all on red. Black. So this time, I'm going to go on black. And I'm going to win. I've got a four leaf clover that my father found about 50 years ago and hopefully it'll bring me some good luck. Outside, pouring with rain, guy gives me an umbrella, red, so it's going to be red. I've never watched football in my life, never ever, so it's the most hardest challenge. I could be going on to be a millionaire, you know? Or I could be going on with nothing. Come on, Red, Swan Percy, you can do it. You can get me the million. Go on, boy. But will it be Red?
the result, and it goes to red. We are absolutely gutted. I'm devastated. Three one up, and I, I don't know. I don't know. I really, really thought we had it, but obviously he kicked best at the end of it. Cheers, Dad. Thanks very much. Great game, that. Great game. But Paul Cesc Fabregas, he was doing so well. And he just lost out at the end. And he, Cesc Fabregas was so upset of having lost that one that shortly afterwards, he left the country to start a new life in Spain. It's true. It's true, that. Hold out of that. Uh, so thanks to Robin Van Persie, 341, made the correct choice and went red. But there's a long way to go before one of them could win a million pounds. We will be back after this break with a truly explosive game. Plus Formula One superstars David Coulthard and Jensen Button go head to head here live in the studio for red or black. Don't miss it. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> We started out with 1,000, but already just 341 are left in the race for a million quid. Later tonight, the final eight will join us here in the studio. And don't forget, you can test your luck against your friends by joining the Play Along game at the website itv.com forward slash red or black. Have a go at that. Let's crack on and rejoin the fun and games, though, back at the Red or Black Arena. 341 lucky contestants made it through game one, but only 128 of them will sail through game two. Their next choice is to pick a fortune cookie, hoping to find a lucky ticket inside. But will the lucky ticket be red or black? It's a red win! For the lucky winners... Hey, hey, hey. Their next destination is Taft's Well Quarry, just outside Cardiff. Ah! Hi, everyone. Welcome to Rock and Roll. Over on the edge of the quarry, you can see an eight-foot dice. Three of the sides are red, three of the sides are black. That dice is going to be shot up into the air. And what you have to do is tell us which colour will be facing upwards when it lands. Will it be red or will it be black? It's time to make your decision. Yeah, I reckon it will land on the six dots because there's going to be slightly more weight. I just decorated my kitchen red, so it's red paint is it's got to be red, I think, definitely. I cried at Wembley when I chose red. <laughs> and I cried when I got the fortune cookie right. Hopefully the tears won't come today. I'm having a kidney transplant in the next couple of months. Mum and Dad put themselves forward as potential donors. I put the million towards, I suppose, after the operation, treat my whole family to a holiday, because we're going to need it. <laughs> Extremely desperate to get through to the final eight. So much so I'm willing to tell the hospital, delay my transplant if they need to. <laughs> Right, good luck, everybody. Let's roll the dice. The contestants have made their decisions. Now it's time for them to learn their fate. In five, four, four three, two, Closer to one million pounds. What would you spend it on if you won it? Oh, 
a massive house with a lovely utility room so that I could buy, so buy a chest freezer, cos that's what I want. And so, if you want a, one in. so if you want a million quid, you'd buy a chest freezer? Yeah. <laughs> aim higher, aim higher. Definitely want it even more now. Fields in my blood, hopefully I will go all the way. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure they feel like that over there. No. Got it. Absolutely got it. Now we're probably just going to go home and uh, cry into the sofa or something. You make me cry now. I don't want to cry on TV. So well done, everybody. Well done. We'll see you in the next round. Well done. Cheers. So if Haley wins a million pounds, she's going to buy a chest freezer. Chest freezer. Yeah. See, that's what I love about this show. It makes dreams come true. Dreams come true. <laughs> uh, now, three red wins, no black wins so far tonight. There are now 64 contestants still in the hunt for that million pounds, but half of them are about to go home empty-handed. Yes, it's time for decision number four, and this is one of the best games yet. Mainly because we got to turn up in a big monster truck. Yeah. But will our contestants choose red or black? What an entrance. Arrived in style. This round is called Tire Tower. Two diggers, one red, one black. 13 tires each. The first driver to successfully stack all the tires and keep them stacked for five seconds wins. If the tower falls, the driver has to start again. So, will it be red? Or will it be black? It's time to decide. Over to you. 